uh, three set victory Saturday. Uh, really sharp playing from the girls in maroon and white, 25-4, 25-5, 25-4 over the Lady Rockets from El Paso. Uh, West Plains uh, coming off a victory over Clint and uh, beat Midland Greenwood in their by-district round uh, to make it here to the regional quarterfinals this evening. Both teams uh, getting their warm-ups in about 13 minutes or so from start time. They've got us set for uh, right at a 7 o'clock start this evening. Just going to be me solo tonight, Lane Formby. Uh, Tom is at home this evening. Cindy uh, not feeling so well, so Tom's staying home with her. We hope she gets to feeling better soon and know that they'll be uh, listening tonight and certainly will be missed as well on the air. But we will do our best to uh, fill Tom's shoes this evening, fill Brenda's, uh, do it all for you tonight here courtside at the box. We're going to go ahead and take a minute 30 break here from our sponsors this evening and we'll be back with some more pregame right after this. For a full-time job with advancement opportunities, McDonald's in Hereford is hiring full-time and part-time people who are energetic and customer-focused. At McDonald's, you will be able to work flexible hours, whether it's three hours or eight hours per day. Benefits include a free meal when you're working and a 30% discount when you're off-duty. Earn a vacation benefit and $10 an hour and above with experience. To apply, just text TX162 to 38000. Happy State Bank is more than just a financial institution. We're a mainstay in the lives of the customers we serve and the communities we live in. We put our customers first, making sure each experience at Happy is a great one, while taking care of all their banking needs. We pride ourselves on giving back to our local community. We partner with organizations that do the same. Happy State Bank, we're always banking with you in mind. Find out more about joining us at happybank.com. Happy State Bank, a division of Centennial Bank, member FDIC. When life's unexpected moments happen, you can rest easy knowing Prairie Insurance is on your side. Prairie Insurance will listen to you and help tailor a policy to meet your needs. They offer multiple insurance products including home, auto, business and farm insurance with the knowledge to make sure you're covered. Give them a call at 363-6489 or stop by their office at 213 West Park Avenue. When you're ready to have peace of mind regarding the things that matter most, call Prairie Insurance at 363-6489 or stop by 213 West Park Avenue and they'll make sure welcome back to the box courtside for the regional quarterfinal match the Lady Herd and the West Plains Lady Wolves battling it out again third time this season when it really matters uh, the uh, Lady Wolves uh, getting beat in three sets both of those times uh, playing a little better the first time we saw them at home uh, Lady Whiteface is uh, really easily taking care of business that second meeting uh, at West Plains, but they have been uh, playing well this postseason, have some momentum with them, and the Lady Whitefaces certainly do too. They have had two very commanding victories, uh, beating Seminole, and then again beating El Paso Irvin uh, quite easily on uh, Saturday in Monahans. A really good fan base on hand so far for the Lady Whitefaces. One thing I don't really see yet is uh, a rowdy student section, but they should be uh, filing in any moment. Actually, a couple of them just started to, uh, as always, getting here right before start time, uh, right before a, a really big match for the Lady Herd tonight. Uh, whoever wins this match tonight will be traveling to Friendship on Friday in the regional semifinals and look to play in the final Saturday, punch their ticket to the state tournament. And we uh, really hope it's the girls in maroon and white. If we play as sharp as we have been, if we earn every point uh, like we really have our past two matches, should be able to take care of business tonight and keep playing uh, into the middle and latter part of November. Lady White Faces, coached by Carly McCracken. Carly in her third year, a 2010 Hereford High graduate, a uh, 2008 state champion in the maroon and white. She was part of a 45 and three squad uh, that went down and beat Highland Park in the finals. Your seniors tonight, Cameron Blair, Nikaila Watley, Emma Cooper, 
Autumn Wilburn. The four uh, senior girls on this squad, of course, they uh, need to win to keep playing volleyball for Hereford. Right now, about eight minutes away from start time. We'll send it back for two minutes. We'll be back uh, courtside from the box in two minutes on KPAN. Experience a new level of home comfort with a new Bryant Evolution system. When installed with the Evolution Connect control, this advanced system can communicate with both your indoor and outdoor units for increased comfort and efficiency. Ask your Bryant dealer about an Evolution heating and cooling system today. Call Bob's Heating and Air, 364-1195, your local factory authorized Bryant dealer. If you're considering buying a home or have questions regarding a mortgage loan, First National Bank of Hereford can help you. You will be working with Hereford's only locally owned bank. Applying is easy with our online application for your home purchase, refinance, home equity, or home improvement loan. First National Bank of Hereford and Freona Banking Center, member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender, NMLS number 6. 631622. Hereford ISD. We are committed to children and dedicated to excellence. Hereford ISD encompasses over 900 square miles. We educate approximately 4,000 students each year and employ approximately 650 employees. Hereford ISD buses over 700 students to and from school each day. We provide 14 bus routes and drive over 1,100 miles per day. We choose to make a difference in the lives of all of our children. Go Herd! They say proper preparation prevents poor performance, and your local Zomatic dealer is here to help you prepare for any irrigation scenario you may encounter. Act now to lock in bonus rebates on fall deliveries and your choice of additional available incentives. The sooner you lock it in, the better your deal will be, so don't delay. Terms and conditions apply. See your local dealer or visit lindsay.com slash fall savings for details. Winget Pump, East Highway 60 in Hereford. All right, Lane Formby back here courtside at the box, West Texas A&M University's campus for a regional quarterfinal match, your Lady White Faces and the West Plains Lady Wolves battling it out tonight to keep playing in November uh, in a uh, postseason run where the Lady White Faces look for their sixth state championship. Had a good time giving away some uh, vintage state championship tees this morning. Uh, Brenda Gutierrez, Adolfo Martinez, and Lori Cisneros, all winners of a 97-99 uh, and a 08T. And we got a, a few more to give away. If this streak continues, we'll do it again Friday, uh, right here on KPAN. The Lady White Faces back on the court now, getting some uh, warm-up action at the net, uh, looking Pretty good this evening. The rest of the roster will round out for you. Emily Alvarado is going to be a junior middle blocker. London Baker, a sophomore setter. Allie Purcella, a junior outside hitter. Morgan Otero, a sophomore defensive specialist. Maddie Madrigal, sophomore setter. Cameron Blair, senior outside hitter. A younger sister, Kendall Blair, a junior outside hitter, a Stephanie Solorzano, sophomore defensive specialist, Myra Villarreal, sophomore uh, defensive specialist, Emma Cooper, a senior defensive specialist, Stephanie Villarreal, a junior setter, Carisma Trevino, sophomore defensive specialist, Janae Fletcher, sophomore middle blocker, uh, Autumn Wilburn, a senior middle blocker, I was going to skip the seniors there, so I skipped Nikaila, but Nikaila Watley, uh, back row senior, plays uh, kind of defense and that middle blocker, middle hitter position for the Lady Whitefaces. Nikaila did not get a lot of action on Saturday, probably a little bummed for that, but happy for her teammates. Uh, she really uh, never even had to get that far up into the rotation, except for a couple rally points uh, that El Paso Urban made Herford earn. This weekend, uh, as far as I know, at least two teams. This is according to uh, Mr. Sauceda. We visited a little bit before 
Uh, coming over here and getting set up tonight, Randall and Decatur. It looks like they are in the same side of the bracket. They'll be playing each other Friday night if they continue their wins. And uh, Hereford, I'm not sure. I'll see if I can find out who we would play Friday. But uh, really looking to play Saturday. That's going to be a Saturday afternoon match for the championship. Uh, 1 or 2 o'clock, I believe, at Friendship High School. And then uh, would get a week off before that state tournament down in Garland. Lady Wolves tonight, a couple players to note that had a pretty good game against Hereford. Sophomore Piper Patter Patterson is a middle blocker and outside hitter. A junior Brooklyn Gar Garcia is a middle blocker and outside hitter. A Jay Lee Franklin as well, junior outside hitter for the Lady Wolves. The Lady White face is going to be in white tops, black uh, shorts this evening. The Lady Wolves black shorts as well. And looks like they're going to be in uh, blue tops once they take their warm-ups off. Again, really a pretty nice crowd for Hereford this evening. Uh, West Plains, although uh, will be the visiting team tonight, really the home team of this evening. And uh, Hereford really has got a, a better upper deck, a better lower deck of fans. We'll uh, hope to see some still trickle in and really get this place rocking for your Lady White Faces. Again, the regional quarterfinal match here in Canyon tonight. Start time set, uh, we'll call it a couple minutes after seven. Once they get a national anthem, player introductions out of the way, and we will be ready to rock and roll. We're gonna send it back for two more minutes. We'll take a two minute timeout here from our sponsors this evening and be back with the start of the regional quarterfinals here at the box in Canyon. of their particular sport while learning to work in a team concept. It's not much different at Hereford Texas Federal Credit Union. Our employees have a dedication to serve our members daily with the fundamentals of good business. Being friendly and helping give you peace of mind in knowing that when you need banking assistance, you can get it from our knowledgeable staff. Hereford Texas Federal Credit Union, member NCUA, working as a team since 1936 with our members. Go Herd! Your business, farm and ranch, or home is unique, and success depends in part on a cost-effective and convenient supply of quality fuel. When you trust your fueling needs to good and fuels, it's one less detail for you to manage. Commercial fuel in bulk in below-ground or above-ground tanks, serving the western panhandle with gasoline, diesel, and propane. Good and fuels in Hereford, 364-3366. Start here, AC. Go Amarillo College is the place to prepare. I wanted to be a nurse for years. Amarillo College helped me get there. I had a job lined up even before I graduated. With my degree from AC, I can go anywhere and do anything. Trust your future to a college that cares. AC, go anywhere. The world sure is a different place than it was back in 1937 when Deaf Smith Electric Cooperative began. For 85 years, our commitment to our members to provide affordable, reliable electricity has been unwavering. When your lights go out, so do we, and that's something that won't ever change. Deaf Smith Electric Cooperative, your Touchstone Energy Co-op. Welcome back to the box lane for me here on this Tuesday evening regional quarterfinal match uh, with the uh, Lady White Faces and the Lady Wolves fighting for a spot in the regional tournament this weekend. Of course, the uh, four best teams from Region 1 will meet in friendship. Uh, one game Friday night uh, for uh, each of those teams and then Two will look to play uh, for their ticket to stay on Saturday. A thank you to Coach Kitten letting me know we would play Stephenville Friday with a victory tonight. So uh, whichever team comes away victorious here, uh, Stephenville will be the next matchup Friday just on that southwest side of Lubbock. Lady Whiteface is lined up here on the baseline. Uh, Lady Wolves. Still in a team meeting. Both teams going to be with white tops today. Uh, the box kind of has a uh, 
more of a composite type of floor. It is really set up for uh, volleyball. Of course, the basketball team moved to the First United Bank Center. And uh, should be a really fun night for some volleyball. We are very excited for some Lady Whiteface volleyball this evening. The Lady Whiteface is going to be the home team uh, tonight, really hosting West Plains. They're doing a salute to uh, first responders, veterans, past and present. A uh, nice gesture here this evening for those folks. We're going to stand and join them for the national anthem, and we'll let you listen in this evening from the box. All right, we'll get these introductions out of the way and we'll be on our way to some regional quarterfinal, quarterfinal volleyball here uh, this evening. Of course, a, a few notable Lady White faces over the years playing here at WT. Uh, Lauren Bevel, uh, Chandler Vogel, and now uh, Tatum Stowe, all having uh, really good careers. Uh, continuing in the maroon and white and black for them and uh, probably even a couple of Lady White Faces that will aspire to do that same thing. Introducing the Lady Wolves tonight. And McCall Sims gonna be their junior libero. See her a lot on the floor. Piper Patterson, a sophomore. As we mentioned earlier, see her as well. Brooklyn Garcia, junior outside hitter. The J. Lee Franklin, a name uh, recognizable from last time. Uh, Riley Haney as well. Sophomore uh, right side hitter. Uh, they've got two freshmen on the squad. Cecilia Murillo, a setter, and Anaya Kitchen, a freshman uh, middle blocker and outside hitter. Uh, right on cue, lots of uh, Hereford students, a lot of uh, what looks to be uh, white face football players have filled up the far side of this Bottom grandstand here at the box. I'm telling you folks, a really, really nice crowd for Hereford. Uh, the Lady Whiteface is now being introduced. Their uh, classic two clap. Tom talked about it last week from as long as uh, the Lady Whitefaces have been a team. It's been a quick two clap, no bells, no whistles. They want to get it out of the way, get ready to play. Uh, you can probably hear the smile in my voice, folks. This is super exciting for Hereford. Uh, the Lady Whitefaces, again, have been playing very, very sharp. If we play uh, with intention, what I would say with intimidation, uh, there is uh, no chance on the other side. Lady Whitefaces, of course, have been a top 10 team all season and uh, really have been playing like it, and we hope to see the same thing tonight. Uh, your starters tonight likely going to be Nikaila Watley, London Baker, Kendall Blair, uh, Stephanie Villarreal, and we'll see who else Carly puts in here tonight. Of course, uh, more of a stacked roster. You move those JV players up uh, to play 
in the event that uh, someone does happen to, to go down, not what you hope for, but you've got to be prepared. You get some extra players on the bench. Uh, the Lady Whiteface JV team having a fantastic season, a district champs, and really played well. We got to see uh, quite a bit of JV volleyball this year with some ref shortages, uh, pushing games back. Uh, but it was all great fun, especially getting to see them win and, and in some pretty deep games against teams like Randall. Again, uh, Randall Decatur will play Friday. The winner of that team will play Saturday. The winner of tonight's match goes on to play Stephenville on Friday at Friendship. Another really easy trip for fans. Uh, we hope we're playing and we hope to see you there. Not quite the haul we had on Saturday. All right. Our starting lineup tonight, it's actually going to be a Stephanie Solorzano, Emma Cooper, London Baker, Kendall Blair, Nikaila Watley, a Cameron on the court. But uh, for most of the season, we'll uh, trade out for Carisma Trevino, the white face libero. We're ready to, ready to get it started, folks. Thanks again to our sports sponsors this evening, uh, making this all possible for our folks back home. Uh, if you're listening on your uh, old-fashioned radio, AM, FM, uh, if you're with uh, Adam and his crew on YouTube or on the Live 365 app, got it going in the background, uh, we are happy to uh, bring you the action tonight. Maya Bartlett serving for West Plains, and that's going to be an ace right off the bat for Maya Charisma trying to get a play on that. Just a ball that sunk right over the net. Bartlett serves. Dug up by Trevino, Baker to Watley. Quick set in the middle. West Plains able to play it up. They're gonna just punch that one over from the 10 foot line. Cooper to Baker, a great pass by Emma. And uh, Kendall hit that one a uh, little long, played up by West Plains. They're gonna get one through the block of Watley and Baker on the far side for their second point of the evening. Sophomore Maya Bartlett, defensive specialist for West Plains, will serve. So Lorzano digs it up for Herford. Baker to Watley. Nikaila just tips it over for her first kill of the evening. That's uh, Nikaila's signature move. Uh, goes up and acts like she's really going to pound it and just kind of puts it over. Janae Fletcher now comes in for So Lorzano. The uh, sophomore for the White Faces. Baker serves. Dug up by West Plains. Good first pass there. They set to the far side. They're going to hit it long and out. And uh, Trevino and Cooper going to watch that one go on the back row for a Lady Whiteface point. 2-2 now here in the first set. The Lady Herd coached by Carly McCracken, Chrissy Jones, and Claudia Garcia this season. Baker serves. Dug up by West Plains. Nice first pass. They're going to set it behind into the block of Watley. And uh, not going to get that one on our hands. Their fourth hit for a Lady Whiteface point. 3-2 now here in this first set. London coming back a little. Uh, serves it long and almost out. West Plains plays it up. They're just going to get that one back over. Trevino plays it up to Baker. The quick set to Watley. And off the block and out. Nikaila's second kill getting in on some more offense uh, tonight. And she is fired up. London is too on that one. A nice quick set from Baker. The sophomore serves. And that's just barely going to sneak out. London a little aggressive with that one. Uh, but uh, smart serve. She had a couple in the net during warm up, so making sure she at least puts it in play. Just sneaking out on her. Mario serves to Cooper. Cooper to Baker, sets it back to Kendall. Kendall just taps that one over for her first kill on the night. A nice bit of finesse from the junior Blair sister. Cameron comes in for Trevino, and Kendall's going to go back to the service line with the two-point lead. Kendall jump serves from the middle. Nice serve, played up on the back row by West Plains. Good pass to the setter into the block of Watley and Fletcher. The West Plains plays it back up. Ah. And that's going to go off the tips of Cameron and Watley and uh, Cooper and Kendall Blair on the back row, almost having a collision trying to fight for that ball. But West Plains gets the point on that one. Brooklyn Garcia now serving for the Lady Wolves, played up by Kendall. A nice first pass from Kendall. 
Set over here to Cameron. Cameron with a huge swing on it. West Plains able to play it up, keep it in play. They get it back over. Cooper plays it to Baker. Baker to Watley in the center. And uh, Watley just sneaks it. Uh, under the block there, 6-4 now. Lady Hurd and Nikaila back to the line to serve. That was her third kill on the evening. Played up by West Plains, set to this near side. Kendall, a great play to keep that ball up. Cameron with a huge swing. And she's going to get her first kill on the evening. And that's an intimidating swing on the ball right there from the senior Blair sister. Watley now serves from the middle. Played up by the libero for West Plains. They've got a good set on it here. Watley plays it up. And uh, Nikaila just uh, passes it a little long on that one with her dig. London unable to get to it. Uh, and Fletcher in the area as well. That's going to send Jaylee Franklin back to the line for West Plains. Jaylee serves, tipped over the net to Cameron. Cameron to London. London back to Blair. Uh, Blair into the block, but Autumn plays it up. London to Cameron again with a huge swing. And her second kill on the evening. 8-5 now, Lady Whitefaces. Janae uh, Fletcher coming to the bench as Stephanie Solorzano in for the Lady Herd. Autumn Wilburn also uh, snuck in, in the game without me seeing her uh, senior's first appearance on the court tonight. So Lorzano serves, the jump serve. Nice serve, played up by West Plains. They've got it here to the near side of the net. As Stephanie with a big time play. Uh, Nikaila just pushes that one back over. Played up by West Plains, quick set on the net. And uh, off the block of Wilburn there again. So Lorzano really trying to get a good play on the ball. Just miss hit it a little bit, uh, but not for a lack of effort there. Uh, Lady Wolves cut the lead to two now, trailing six to eight to the Lady White faces. Freshman Cecilia Murillo now to the line. She's gonna serve it long. Watley and Kendall Blair, watch that one go. Nine, six now, Lady Hurd. Trevino in the game for Cameron. Trevino's gonna go to the line. She'll serve from our near side. Quick jump serve. Just floats it over. West Plains plays it up into our block. A good job by Wilburn and Kendall there. West Plains just gonna put that one back over. Autumn. With the block, West Plains unable to play that one back over. Uh, off that hit, we'll give that block to Autumn. Carly may say otherwise on the stats tomorrow, but a Trevino now back to serve for Hereford. And she just uh, a nice quick jump serve. A lot of top spin on that one. They play it over to Watley. Watley to Baker. And Kendall just tries to get that one over. Kind of miss hits it a little bit on the uh, bottom part of her hand. A too much top spin sends that one under the net. 10-7, Lady White faces lead. Libero uh, McCall Sims serving for West Plains. It's going to be picked up by Solorzano. And Stephanie, a long pass, but Baker able to get a good tie at the net. Uh, they just play it back over to Watley. Great play by London, who tips it over. And they're going to call that four hits for West Plains. A uh, nice heads-up play from London there, kind of catching them off guard, just sending that one over. Almost a dangerous collision on the Lady Wolves' side. Emma Cooper Sr. comes in for Hereford. Serves from the middle, quick jump serve. Uh, played up, not well by West Plains. They get it over, and they're going to hit it out. Trevino and Kendall Blair watching that one go. 12-7 now, Lady White faces up by five. Emma Cooper serving for Hereford. The serve from Emma, nice. Played up by West Plains. Quick set in the middle. Off the uh, block of Watley. And that one's going to come out over here by us. And Nikaila just uh, number one, trying to get it done by herself. And just not quite closed off there at the net. And a great job by the West Plains player trying to get around her. The serve from West Plains played up by Solorzano to Baker. Watley. Cooper. London tries for the kill. West Plains plays it up. They're going to just have to get this one over here, and they do. A Trevino plays it to Cooper, to Kendall from the 10-foot line. West Plains playing this one up. A nice rally going here now. Uh, the Lady White faces miss the uh, hit from West Plains there. Heard Carly saying, move your feet. Move your feet. We needed a little uh, movement right there on the back row. That one's sneaking in between 
Lady White face defenders. West Plains serves, played up by Solorzano to Cooper. Cooper to Kendall. Kendall with a nice swing on the ball. West Plains plays it up. Oh, they're going to get a uh, big kill there from Jaylee Franklin. And once again, we'll cut the lead to two. We need some excitement from the uh, White Face faithful over here. The West Plains fans really getting into this, and we definitely have the advantage population-wise. West Plains serves, played up by Cooper. Cooper to Baker. Baker to Kendall, stuffed at the net. Uh, but we'll play it back up. Cooper to Watley. Watley pushes that one far. West Plains able to get to it on the back row. And uh, Franklin right into the block of Watley, and Baker will give that one to Nikaila there, her first block on the night for a Lady White face point. Janae Fletcher is going to come in for Stephanie Solorzano, a sophomore trade out. And uh, London Baker back to the line to serve for Herford. Baker serves, good serve. Played up by West Plains. They're going to set it here on the near side, a little off the net. Off the block of Watley to Baker, to Trevino, to Kendall. Uh, West Plains gets it over to Cooper, London to Watley. Huge swing right down the block of West Plains. Her fourth on the evening. 14-10 now. Herford leads West Plains. Baker serves, played up by West Plains back row. They're going to try uh, London's move there. A little quick tip over. London sets it to Watley. West Plains plays it up. Set on the far side to Franklin. And uh, Franklin's had our number over there a few times so far. Got to find an answer for her on the far side there. 14-11 uh, now Lady White faces lead. Zenaida Murillo back to serve for West Plains. Trevino, Watley, and Cooper. Cooper will take the serve. Baker to... Watley. And folks, that was loud. A loud kill from Nikaila there. Really got a swing on that ball. Great job. 15-11 now, Herford. Kendall Blair back to serve. The junior with the jump serve from the middle. Lots of topspin. Played up by Franklin. Set back to Franklin. And Fletcher and Watley, they're going to get the block on that one. Uh, West Plains tries to play it up, but cannot get it back over within the four. Uh, Herford leading 16-11 here in the first set on a little run. Uh, need to keep earning our points. And we are cruising to a first set victory. First to 25 here in the first set. We'll send it back for 30 seconds after this West Plains timeout and be back with more Lady White Face Volleyball. Does your credit card treat you? Well, their bill is always on time. Does that count? You should visit First Financial. We have a variety of credit card options. Once approved, you get rewards just for using them. Rewards? Yes, like cash back, gift cards, travel, and more. I can get used to treatment like that. First Financial Bank. You first. The creditor and issuer of these cards is a long financial service. See at thefin.com for details. Cash back redeemable as a cash deposit to your First Financial checking or savings account or as a statement... Welcome back to the box. Lane Formby here for KPAN and Lady Whiteface Volleyball in the regional quarterfinals. Looking to punch their ticket to the tournament and friendship on Friday. Right now leading 16-11 here in the first set. A little back and forth. West Plains has cut the lead to two a couple times. Uh, but right now on a rally. Kendall Blair serves for Herford. Played up by West Plains. And uh, Franklin's going to hit that one out. Kendall with a really heads up play to let that one go. Uh, you may need an uh, NFL replay to see the uh, maroon outside the white line on that one, but works in our favor, 17-11. Uh, Cooper unable to play up a, a nice kill from West Plains. That one's just going to float outside of the red and white stick here at midcourt. And that's going to send Brooklyn Garcia, Jr., for the Lady Wolves to the line. Played up by Cooper, Cooper to Baker. Baker to the near side, Cameron. Cameron with, uh, she could, <laughs> she knew it. She uh, just missed hit that one a little bit, uh, a little overswung, and that one's going to sail far into the Hereford student section. 17 13 now. Lady White faces lead. Garcia serves. Watley picks it up. Watley to Baker. Quick set to Watley. And the Lady Wolves knew that one was coming. Uh, right into their block. Cameron Blair tried to get a play on it, but. 
but just really unable to uh, get the right pass on the ball. Garcia still serving for West Plains on a three-point run here. We need an answer, and uh, we'll take the easy answer into the net, 18-14 now for Hereford. Emma Cooper comes out, Autumn Wilburn goes in, Fletcher, Blair, Blair, Wilburn, Baker, and Watley serving for Hereford. The serve from Nikaila. Nice floater picked up by West Plains. They set it on this near side off the block of Blair and Wilburn. It's going to be a point for West Plains. 18-15 now, Hereford leading here in this first set. For the Lady Wolves, Jaylee Franklin serving. Picked up by Cameron Blair. London to Wilburn. Autumn with a good swing on it. Uh, but West Plains able to play it back over. Watley to Baker. Baker to Cameron. Kendall picks that one up. Watley to Cameron. West Plains plays it up. And they're going to just keep this one alive over to Hereford. Kendall's just doing her best to keep it alive. Baker to Cameron. Cameron lets that one sail. Uh, I'll tell you, folks, there was probably about four balls in that rally uh, that either team could have let out. Uh, but we did not. 18-16, Lady White faces lead by two. Not sure uh, what just happened. Maybe a, a bench warning for both teams. Getting a little rowdy. Franklin serves, played up by Cameron. Baker sets to Kendall on the 10-foot line with a good swing on it. West Plains able to play this one up. And uh, Watley plays up there. Kill attempt. Kendall just kind of floating that one over. West Plains able to keep this one going. And a big-time block by Cameron there for... Lady Whiteface point, that's Cameron's first block on the evening. Uh, Fletcher comes out, so Lorzano in. Uh, one thing the Lady Whitefaces haven't done is really uh, try to get uh, Wilburn involved at the middle of the net on offense. We'll need that to uh, stretch some of these leads out. Another big block by Autumn, but the Lady Wolves played up Cameron. Fine tuning. The machine gets one down her third on the evening, 20 to 16 here in this first set. The sophomore Solorzano serving a quick jump serve. As Stephanie has been a really good server all year. Oh, a quick little set from West Plains, London doing the same back to him. They're gonna play it up, set it to this far side. Just float that one over, Kendall to Baker, Baker to Cameron. Cameron into the block, but played up by London. Kendall again to Cameron. Watley plays that one up, Baker to Autumn. And Autumn, right on cue, her first kill of the evening. Uh, West Plains I'm unable to play that one up. They're going to take their second time out. As the Lady Whiteface is going on a little bit of a run here. Uh, we're going to take one with them. We'll be back in 30 seconds. 21-16, Lady Whiteface is up by five in the first set. We're back with Lady Whiteface volleyball in half a minute. Vibes at Purcellas Western Alley in Burford. Spoil yourself with some new additions to your wardrobe for work or play. Did you know Purcellas Western Alley is more than just a clothing shop? Go by and check out their jewelry and home goods too. You might even find an early Christmas gift. Purcellas Western Alley at 513 North 25 Mile Avenue in Hereford. See the latest specials and styles in stock on Instagram at Western Alley. That's Western A-L-L-E-E. -E. Lane Formby here, courtside in the box. West Texas A&M's campus looking at a really uh, nice size Hereford crowd. We need him to get in this uh, match tonight and get some crowd noise going for the Lady White Faces. We've even kind of wrapped around the side here, have really filled up this gym this evening. So Lorzano serves for Hereford. A rare service error from Stephanie. She's going to put that one in the net. And the West Plains are, uh, West Plains Lady Wool is going to bring in two fresh players. They're going to send freshman Cecilia Murillo to the line. Watley plays it up for Hereford to Baker. Baker sets to Cameron. Cameron with her for fourth kill on the evening. That was off the West Plains block and uh, landed out here. Cameron hits the bench after that one named Carisma Trevino comes in for Hereford. Sophomore is going to go to the line. Trevino, a really nice serve, just sneaking it over the net. Uh, 
And uh, Trevino Solorzano kind of caught looking there. Watley trying to make the play on the ball, but could not do so. West Plains going to sneak that one down on us. 22-18, Lady White faces up by four. Watley, Trevino, Solorzano. Solorzano plays it up. And uh, just a, a bad pass from Stephanie. London unable to get that one. Uh, Kendall probably could have played it up, but we wanted to stay in her rotation. Sim serves for West Plains. Solorzano plays that one up. Good. London sets to Autumn. Autumn just lets it sail. And uh, once again, the Lady Whiteface is cutting this lead to two here. Lady Wolves, my apologies if I didn't say that here in this first set. McCall Sims serves. So Lorzano plays it up. Not a great pass. London goes to that one, sends it over to Kendall. Kendall just puts it over. Uh, West Plains, a big swing, but Watley plays it up. So Lorzano, Baker once again plays it over to Sims. Sims, uh, the set in the middle, and uh, Baker able to play that one up. Then Autumn, West Plains keeping this one going. Baker trying to kill attempt on this one. West Plains gets it over to Kendall. London to Kendall. Kendall into the block of the Lady Wolves. And they just punch it over. And they're going to call Herford across the line here in the first set. Carly wants a timeout after that one. We're up by one. The Lady Wolves have inched closer, 22-21. Herford leaves and leads in the first set. We're back in 30 seconds with Lady Whiteface Volleyball on KPAN. We are now Hereford's only family and locally owned funeral home serving Dev Smith County. We strive to serve the community of Hereford with honesty, integrity, and compassion to each and every family we serve. When families have to go through that difficult time, allow your only locally owned funeral home to meet those needs. The last thing we want is having to deal with corporate mentality during that time of grief. So remember, Mendez and Mullins Family Funeral Home, Hereford's only family and locally owned funeral home, our family. Welcome back to Canyon. We are on uh, West Texas A&M University's campus at the box. Uh, lots of volleyball, lots of really good volleyball played here uh, from the Lady Buffs, from some Herefordites uh, continuing to play in the maroon and white. Right now the Lady Herd up by one. A really tense moment here in this first set. Sims serves, so Lorzano plays it up. Better pass from a Stephanie. And London sets that one to Autumn. Autumn into the net. And the Lady Wolves have tied it here uh, in this first set. 22-22. McCall Sims serves. So Lorzano plays it up. Good pass to London. London to Kendall with a huge swing on it. But the Lady Wolves able to play it up, but just get it over. Trevino now. London with the set to Kendall. Kendall hits it down. Uh, the net, the Lady Wolves there and able to play it. They just will play it back over one more time. Watley, we need to capitalize here. London with a beautiful bit of finesse there. That's going to go down for a kill for London tonight. Put us back in the lead up by one, 23-22. Emma Cooper comes in. Wilburn goes out. Emma to the line. The senior sends one floating. Lady Wolves play it here to the middle. London able to just get that one over, so Lorzano plays it back. Lady Wolves set it on the near side here. They're going to tip it. Trevino, great dig. London to Kendall. Kendall sends it over. Franklin plays it up. West Plains try it into the block of Watley, but will get it back over. Cooper to Baker. Baker to Watley. Watley into the block. And it's back on Herford's side, 23-23. All right, Whiteface fans, let's get on your feet. These girls need you right now. Maya Bartlett serving for West Plains, picked up by Trevino to Baker, Baker to Kendall. Huge kill from Kendall. Her second on the evening, 24-23 Herford. Set point here. Janae Fletcher comes in for Solorzano. London Baker, the sophomore setter at the line. London serves, played up by West Plains. And Watley is going to put that one down. Her sixth on the night. And the first set win for her for 25 to 23.
Sorry, folks. Solo tonight. Got to write this stuff down so I don't forget it. Nikaila, six kills in that first set. Cameron Blair, four. Kendall, two. London and Autumn, both adding one for Herford. Uh, Nikaila had one block. Cameron Blair, one block. Autumn Wilburn, one block for the Lady White Faces. Uh, as we look ahead, we definitely need to sharpen some stuff up. I need to look at hitting around uh, West Plains blocks a little bit more, maybe doing some uh, eye trickery, a little NFL quarterback move, look one way, hit the other. Uh, need to be a little bit quicker on our feet defensively. And if we can clean some of those things up, should be able to cruise to a second set victory again or uh, a little bit easier time here in Canyon. Again, 25-23. Uh, West Plains Lady Wolves really getting close in that first one. Uh, playing some good volleyball coming into this third round of the playoffs. Uh, but the Lady Whiteface is able to get it done. We're going to send it back for a minute 30. We'll be back with the second set in a minute and a half. Lady Whiteface volleyball continues on KPAN. Good neighbors show up. For 100 years, State Farm has been among the first to arrive with the latest technology and tools to help you recover faster. State Farm has been there before, and they'll be there again and again. Stop by and see your local State Farm insurance agent, Matt Silva, at 801 Main Street in Hereford. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. First Bank Southwest has been there to help the working hands that have shaped this great land. Chances are we helped your father, his father, and even his father. We understand for some a handshake is a stronger bond than a piece of paper. And even though times can be tough, folks around here are tougher. And that's why we're as proud of our panhandle roots as you are. First Bank Southwest, moving your generation in the right direction. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Well, Dick Vital uh, here at the box. Nah, just kidding. Lane Formby here. If you see some pics, you may uh, get me confused with the longtime basketball announcer. Uh, we are very excited to be here for the regional quarterfinals. The Lady White faces with a first set win, 25-23. A quick update from uh, Mr. Hedrick Randall, 2-1, leading Monahans tonight. Baker's going to serve it for Herford to get things started. West Plains plays it back to the net, but Nikaila with her signature uh, block to the ground goes down as a stuff or kill. Her seventh on the evening, 1-0 here in the second set. Uh, getting a little bit of uh, sweat cleaned up. Maybe a water break from the refs here on the floor. And Baker's going to keep things going for the Lady White faces. The sophomore setter puts one barely over the net, played up by West Plains. They're going to set it to the far side. And folks, we were just caught looking on that one. Uh, Emma Cooper and uh, maybe Ali Priscilla there on the back line. Uh, unable to uh, get the play done on that one. Priscilla has come into the game. Right now, uh, Lady Wolves will serve. We have Watley, Trevino, and Cooper on the back line. And uh, Trevino watch that, watches that one go out 2-1 now for Herford. Cameron Blair comes in, Trevino goes out. The quick change with the libero. Kendall serves a really nice serve. West Plains able to uh, just play it up and get it back over to Kendall. London sets it to Cameron. And that ball, uh, Herschel Root, Herschel Black almost tried to set that one back up from the stands over there. A really big swing from Cameron. That's gonna be her fifth kill on the evening. 3-1 now. Kendall, another great serve, played up by West Plains. And Franklin, who has been uh, their weapon all night, plays through the block of uh, Priscilla and Blair. 
And it's going to be 3-2 uh, now, Lady White faces. Lady Wolves trail by one, serve it to Cooper. Cooper, bad pass, but in play, they send it back over to... Uh, Uh, Baker, who gets that to Watley, who puts it on the floor. The ref uh, calling that a no dig from West Plains. And that's Nikaila's eighth kill on the evening. Nikaila serving, just missing the top of the net on that one. We're going to get a sub on West Plains side. Blair, Blair, Watley, Priscilla, Wilburn, and Baker in for Hereford. Uh, Baker, Watley, and Kendall Blair rarely come off the court. Autumn into the kill, into the block of West Plains. That's going to be a kill for Autumn there as they're unable to keep that one in play. Her second on the evening. Lady White faces up by four here in the second set, leading six to two. So Lorzano in for Hereford. The sophomore has a uh, quick jump serve from the center. As Stephanie is played up by Franklin. And uh, West Plains kind of not really setting up a play. And we were not expecting a uh, hit to the back corner there as that one goes past Watley. 5-2 now. Lady Whiteface lead over the Lady Wolves. Freshman, Cecilia Murillo serving for West Plains. Oh, well, we're getting... I, I thought I had just said six and then said five. So we're getting some score adjustments here. I think it's gonna be seven, uh, two. Five, four. Watley plays up the serve from West Plains, London to Cameron. Cameron with a big swing on it. West Plains plays it up. They're going to set it to this near side here and hit it long. And good job by the Lady Whitefaces there watching that one sell out. Point Hereford, 6-4 now. Apologize for the confusion, folks. Trevino in for Hereford, the sophomore. An aggressive jump serve, really punches that one from the back line. West Plains plays it up and over to Watley. Watley with a big dig on it. London to Kendall. Kendall puts it on the floor, her third on the evening. 7-4 now, Hereford leading in this second set. Again, up one set, Trevino, the sophomore libero, serving for the Lady Whitefaces. Played up by Franklin to the middle. They're going to call a, uh, a double hit there. On West Plains for a Hereford point, 8-4 now, Trevino. Jump serve, gets it over, played up on the back line from Sims, set to the 10-foot line, Franklin. And we uh, just barely missed tipping that one on a block and watch that one go out. Point Lady Heard, 9-4 now here in this second set. We're getting uh, a lot given to us here in the second set. Want to make sure we're going to earn the ones we can. West Plains keeping the ball alive here. Send it back to London. London with a quick set. Sets it behind her to Wilburn. Wilburn. Just a monster swing on that one. Her third kill on the evening. Again, Autumn, really someone you want to get into uh, that hitting rotation. Keep the uh, West Plains defense guessing, not always in expecting it from the outside. The Lady Wolves are going to take a timeout as the Lady Whiteface is now up by 6, 10-4 here in the second set. We'll send it back for 30 here from uh, one of our sponsors this evening and be back with Lady Whiteface Volleyball on KPAN. about screen time, WTRT and WT services can help. You can enforce the limits you've set in your home with Experience IQ from WTRT and WT services. You can schedule when the internet is turned off to make sure bedtime is screen free. You automate screen time for your children by adding Experience IQ to the WT Smart Home app. Download the app today. Lane Formby here courtside at the box. The Lady Buff Arena. It's a uh, through and through volleyball court. 
which makes it a little bit easier to see some of these really uh, powerful hits that are near the line. Trevino still serving for Hereford. Been on a run here uh, with five points with her at the line. And she's going to send one just long, a service error for the sophomore. A 10-5 now. Lady Whitefaces lead. McCall Sims, Junior Libero back to the line for West Plains. We've got Solorzano, Watley, and Trevino on the back line. Trevino plays it to Baker. Baker to Kendall. Kendall hits uh, just kind of around their block for her fourth kill on the evening. 11-5 now. Lady Whitefaces lead. Emma Cooper in, and she's going to get an ace with a nice little floater there. First ace on the evening for the Lady Herd. Uh, the senior will again a, a do her quick jump serve from the middle. Emma serves, played up by Franklin to the setter, and uh, West Plains just kind of caught off guard there. That's going to be an easy point for the Lady Whitefaces. 13-5 now, up by eight here. In the second set, Emma Cooper, senior, serving for Hereford. Jump serve, played up on the back line by the Lady Wolves. They do a set here on the near side, and watch that one go out. Emma just barely letting that one go, but smartly so. 14-5 now, Hereford leads by nine. Emma still at the line for the Lady Whitefaces. Played up by West Plains. They're going to set it on this near side to Garcia to Cooper. Garcia just puts that one over and Watley. Man, y'all. Nikaila can jump and she does it quick and her uh, kind of block stuff on the front line there is awesome to see if you're watching on YouTube. A lot of fun to see uh, for her ninth kill. Cooper still serving. Uh, Garcia hits that one into the block of uh, Watley and Baker. So Lorzano tries to get a dig on it, but unable to. 15-6 now point Lady Wolves. And that's going to send Maya Bartlett uh, back to the line for West Plains. Maya serves, picked up by Trevino. Good pass from the back line. Baker sets to Kendall. Kendall with her fifth kill. Kendall kind of uh, getting in a little better rhythm here in this second set. For Hereford Alley comes in uh, for Solorzano. London serving for Hereford, a little long from London. And the sophomore will give up a point there, 16-7 now. Hereford leads over West Plains. Priscilla, Blair, Baker, Cooper, Watley, and Trevino in for Hereford. Cooper plays up the serve from West Plains. London sets it to Watley. Watley big. Uh, tried to get over the block of West Plains, but they play it up and then back into the uh, block of Watley and Priscilla. Uh, that one looked like that was uh, Allie there with her first block on the evening. Kendall serves for Hereford, a nice jump serve from the middle. West Plains plays it up, sets it quick. Cooper to Baker. They're going to call that a double hit uh, from London there. 17-8 now, Hereford up by nine in the second set. That sends Brooklyn Garcia to the line for West Plains. Brooklyn with an ace. Uh, that ball just died right in front of Emma Cooper on the back line. Uh, tried to make a play on it, but a little uh, knuckleball deception there from the junior outside hitter Garcia again serves to Cooper. Cooper plays this one up to Baker. Baker with a set to Watley, and they're going to call that one in. Great, great swing on the ball from Nikaila. And uh, West Plains coach wants an explanation from the refs, but they are all calling it in. And that's the way it goes. 18 9 now. Hereford leads. West Plains plays it up. Alley to Baker. Baker to the far side, Cameron. Cameron just sneaks that one over. West Plains is barely keeping that alive. Franklin's going to put it back over to Cameron. Cameron plays it up. And a great play at the net from freshman Anaya Kitchen for the Lady Wolves. 
She's uh, gonna be a great player over the next few years for West Plains. A great heads up play there by a freshman. Franklin to the not line for West Plains, trailing by eight to Cameron. Cameron uh, just keeps it alive to Wilburn. Kendall gets it back over. West Plains pushes it over. And just a little confusion on our side. Carly wants a timeout. And we'll take one with her. Up by seven now, 18-11 here in this second set. We'll be back in 30 seconds with more Lady Whiteface Volleyball on KPAN. Citizens get the most out of life. Our Medicare Wellness Center provides free annual wellness visits for Medicare enrollees. Our team works with you to get up to date on screenings, immunizations, and other preventative care. Together, we review your medical history, assess your risk factors for illness, and discuss ways to reduce risks and promote health. With an annual Medicare Wellness visit, you get a personalized prevention plan focused on your good health. Visit dschd.org or call 806-364-7512. Welcome back to the box, Lady Whiteface Volleyball right here uh, in Canyon on KPAN. Regional quarterfinal match, Lady Whiteface's Lady Wolves. Herford up by one set, right now leading 18-11 in the second set. Lady uh, Wolves finding a little life here. Carly wanted a timeout after we kind of just got caught looking at a ball hit the floor. Jaylee Franklin, junior outside hitter, a real weapon for West Plains. Stays at the line, and we have uh, the Blair sisters and Watley on the back row. Kendall plays it up to London. London the quit set to Autumn. Autumn's going to get that over and into a uh, block here. They're going to give the point to Herford. And in, in all honesty, folks, I'm not sure what they called here, but Herford's point, 19-11, leading by eight. So Lorzano in to serve for the Lady White faces. Stephanie serves it over to Franklin. They set it on the near side here into the block of Baker and out for a uh, West Plains point. 19-12 now, Lady Wolves trail by seven. They bring in freshman Cecilia Murillo, who will be serving. Murillo serves into the net, 20-12. Lady White faces up by eight. Got a rowdy student section tonight. We really need uh, the rest of the stands to get rowdy this evening. Trevino serves for Herford, played up by Franklin. Quick set from West Plains over to Solorzano. Baker to Kendall. Kendall into the block. Baker sets it back up to Autumn. Autumn to Blair again. She just tips one over. West Plains plays it up. They're going to set it on the far side. And uh, Watley with a great dig there just to keep it in play. It comes back over West Plains to Kitchen into the block of Autumn. Autumn plays it up to Baker who gets it over. West Plains uh, off the fingertips of Baker and Autumn. Baker sets to Kendall on the far side. Big swing on it but played up by West Plains. A big rally point here. Franklin. Oh we have played it up. Solorzano Wilburn to Baker gets it over. West Plains keeps it going. Watley to Baker. Baker to Kendall. Just keeps this one alive. Back to the back row to Franklin with a good pass there. Far side and out. Lady White face point 21-12. Up by nine. Coach Cornelius wants a uh, timeout for the Lady Wolves. We're leading here in the second set. Up nine, 21-12. The Lady White faces are really uh, trying to get this second set win. Give ourselves a little bit of cushion going into the third. We're going to take a 30-second break. We'll be back with the finale of the second set in half a minute on KPAN. Job with advancement opportunities? McDonald's in Hereford is hiring full-time and part-time people who are energetic and customer-focused. At McDonald's, you will be able to work flexible hours, whether it's three hours or eight hours per day. Benefits include a free meal when you're working and a 30% discount when you're off-duty. Earn a vacation benefit and $10 an hour and above with experience. To apply, just text TX162 to 3800. Folks, really impressed by the crowd tonight. There are, is a lot of Whiteface faithful here, old and young, here to support their Lady Whitefaces. Carisma Trevino, sophomore libero, serving for Hereford. 
The jump serve, nice kind of knuckle floater. West Plains plays it up quickly to the net. To Wilburn, to Baker. Back into the block of Wilburn. Kendall plays that one up into the net. Baker to Solorzano. And London with her second kill on the evening, fired up. Uh, that was a uh, legit kill too, not one that she just kind of tips over, not taking away from those, but really, she was really happy to get that one. Trevino serves for Herford, played up by West Plains to Kitchen. She's gonna hit it long. And it's gonna be 23-12 here. Lady White faces up by 11 in the second set. Of course, playing to 25. Trevino serving for Herford. Carisma, Franklin plays it up. Kendall, she's gonna get the stuff. Her sixth kill, 24-12. We are uh, one point away here from the second set in Canyon. Trevino serving for Herford. Franklin plays it up for West Plains. Back to Franklin, Autumn. She's gonna finish it off for us. A stuff for Wilburn, her fourth on the night, 25-12 here. Set number two, the Lady White Faces take it in a much more commanding fashion over the Lady Wolves. Watley, 10 kills. Baker with two tonight. Cameron, five. Kendall with six. And Autumn with four on the evening, offensively for the Lady Herd. As we uh, take a couple minutes before this third set begins, we're going to send it back for a minute and a half break. And we'll be back with your third set, the regional quarterfinals. Lady White faces up 2-0 here over West Plains. We're back in a minute and a half with Lady White face volleyball on KPAN. Lives of the customers we serve and the communities we live in. We put our customers first, making sure each experience at Happy is a great one, while taking care of all their banking needs. We pride ourselves on giving back to our local community. We partner with organizations that do the same. Happy State Bank, we're always banking with you in mind. Find out more about joining us at happybank.com. Happy State Bank, a division of Centennial Bank, member FDIC. When life's unexpected moments happen, you can rest easy knowing Prairie Insurance is on your side. Prairie Insurance will listen to you and help tailor a policy to meet your needs. They offer multiple insurance products including home, auto, business and farm insurance with the knowledge to make sure you're covered. Give them a call at 363-6489 or stop by their office at 213 West Park Avenue. When you're ready to have peace of mind regarding the things that matter most, call Prairie Insurance at 363-6489 or stop by 213 West Park Avenue and they'll make sure you're covered. Whatever your type of home, experience a new level of home comfort with a new Bryant Evolution system. When installed with the Evolution Connects control, this advanced system can communicate with both your indoor and outdoor units for increased comfort and efficiency. Ask your Bryant dealer about an Evolution heating and cooling system today. Call Bob's Heating and Air, 364-1195, your local factory authorized Bryant dealer. Lane Formby here courtside in Canyon at the box. The Lady White Faces taking on the West Plains Lady Wolves in this regional quarterfinal match. Herford uh, up two sets to nothing here. The winner tonight will play Stephenville on Friday in Friendship. Uh, the last we saw, Randall was up two sets to one over Monahans, had barely won a uh, third set. Uh, so it uh, looks like Monahans playing some really good volleyball against a very stout Lady Raider team. Of the Lady White Faces, we'll get this third set going. Trevino, Cooper, Solorzano, Watley, Kendall Blair, and Baker. All right, folks, we're ready to go here. Third set, hopefully third and final set. Uh, getting some more folks on their feet now uh, over across the way uh, in the uh, white face grandstand. Again, a really packed house this evening for Hereford. Uh, really great to see all the support for the Lady White Faces. Should be an easy trip to Friendship Friday as well. Right now for West Plains, Maya Bartlett will be serving. So Lorzano, Trevino, and Cooper to receive for Hereford. So Lorzano 
The pass to Baker. Baker sets it on the near side to Kendall. She's going to hit that one long. It's going to be a 1-0 lead uh, out front here for West Plains. West Plains going to serve that one long. Cooper and Trevino watch that one go. 1-1 one, one now here in this third set. Purcella comes in for Solorzano. Alley, junior, outside hitter. Baker serves, played up by West Plains. Misplayed, they're just going to have to get this one back over, and they don't. Herford up 2-1 now here in the third. A shout out to uh, Adam, Anastasia, Josiah over there running the uh, film crew for us, as always. Getting it done for Whiteface fans. West Plains, four hits before they get it over. That's going to be a Lady Whiteface point, 3-1 now. Baker back to serve for Herford. London. Nice serve from London. West Plains plays it over. Garcia just kind of gets it over to Baker. Baker to Trevino. Trevino sets it to Kendall. And they're going to give that point to uh, West Plains, saying Kendall just hit that one into the uh, top court of the net there. 3-2 now, Herford up by two, up by one. Zenaida Murillo serving for West Plains, played up by Cooper. Emma to London, London to Kendall on the far side. Nice placement from Kendall there for her seventh on the evening. And extending the lead to two here in this third set. Kendall, the uh, junior outside hitter, going to go back and serve from the middle. Jump serve from Blair Ace. Nice serve from Kendall there. And she's pumped for it too. The rest of the team as well. Really hyping her up after that one. Kendall jump serves from the middle. Another really good serve from the junior player sister. Her second ace on the evening coming here in this third set. Not at a better time. Six to two. Your Lady White faces lead by four here. A Kendall serving from the middle. That one a little different than the others. Played up by West Plains. And they uh, play that one right into the block of Watley and Priscilla, but will keep it alive and hit it out. Good talking there from the Lady Whitefaces. Great communication. They knew that one was out the whole time and let the folks on the back row know. 7-2 here now, Herford leads. Kendall serving, jump serves from the middle. Oh, and miss hit that one. Could hear it off the, uh, right from the bat. She just didn't quite get all that one into the net. 7-3 now, the Lady Wolves cut their lead to four. Brooklyn Garcia serves for West Plains, played up by Watley. Great dig by Nikaila to Baker Cameron with the huge kill, her sixth on the evening. Just a really athletic move on it. Cameron has that running approach. Uh, she'll catch you off guard when they do a quick set to the middle too. That's what makes it so impressive and effective. Watley serves for Herford into the block of Cameron. That one's going to roll out, though, for a Lady Wolves point. 8-4 now. Jaylee Franklin, junior outside hitter for West Plains, serving. Cameron picks that one up and uh, just kind of missed past that one to London. Uh, sent London into the net there. She really had no play on the ball. Franklin serves again. Trailing by three now, 5-8 behind the Lady White faces. Cameron Blair plays it up to London. London was kind of a weird set, and Cameron tries to make a, a play on that one just a little long. Oh, she was she started back here behind the 10-foot line and kind of an awkward approach for that. Franklin serves, played up by Kendall. Watley back to Kendall from the 10-foot line, pushes it over. Murillo plays it up to the far side. Uh, we thought that one was going to be out. Kendall did on the back line, but just snuck in that back uh, line here right for me to see and the line judge as well. 8-7 now. Lady Wolves trail by one. Franklin serves. Kendall miss hits, but Baker plays it up. Cameron comes up, pushes it over. The Lady Wolves keep it alive. Played over to Priscilla. Priscilla to Baker. Allie, or uh, Wilburn, I'm sorry, just pushes that one over. West Plains keeping it alive to Priscilla to Baker, to the near side Cameron. Monster swing on it, her seventh 
on the evening. We've had uh, quite a few tonight that have just been so powerful. They hit the block and fall straight down. Uh, West Plains maybe not quite up close enough, don't want to get called in the net, but a great kill from Cameron. So Lorzano serves for Herford, played up on the back row, and uh, that's going to be a kill for Addie Simmons, sophomore outside hitter for West Plains. Right now, Kendall and Cameron Blair, Autumn Wilburn, London Baker, so Lorzano and Watley. So Lorzano, Watley, and Blair on the back row awaiting the serve, and they watch one fall in. West Plains going to tie it up now, 9-9 here in this third set. Uh, just one that could have sneaked out, but we needed to make a play on that if there's that much question. Watley plays up the serve from West Plains to Baker to Cameron Blair. Huge swing in the middle, 10-9. Cameron's eighth on the evening. She's going to come out in Trevino. Libero with the quick sub back to the line to serve for Herford. Carisma, quick jump serve. A really good server for Herford. And uh, West Plains sets that one to Kitchens into the block of Blair and Wilburn. And they're not going to be able to get that one back over. 11-9 now. Lady White faces lead. Trevino serving for Herford. Trevino, a quick jump serve. Lots of top spin. They're going to get uh, freshman Cecilia Murillo in the net for West Plains. A Lady White face point, 12-9 now. Trevino still serving for Herford. Sophomore libero. She's got a quick jump serve. Lots of top spin. That one even more of a knuckle floater. West Plains plays it up. Quickly to the middle, Baker with a great play to get it back over the net. West Plains plays it to the far side. Trevino on the back row. Baker to Kendall. And Kendall into the block. Trevino trying to get that one going. Uh, but West Plains gonna get the point there. 12-10 uh, now. Lady Wolves trail by two. McCall Sims, junior libero for West Plains. We'll see her again next year, will serve. So Lorzano plays that one up for Herford. Baker to the near side, Kendall from the 10 foot line. They set it far side, cross court to Trevino. Baker to Kendall Blair. And we are somehow able to get that one up. Autumn keeps it in play and over. And that's gonna go uh, down for a lady white face point. Great job by Wilburn keeping that play alive. And we'll take the point off of the error on West Plains. 13-10 now. Your Lady White faces lead by three, up two sets to nothing. Senior Emma Cooper, jump serve from the center. West Plains kind of just keeps that one in the net. They're not going to be able to get that one over. Point for Herford, 14-10. Now Lady White faces lead in this third and what could be final set of the regional quarterfinals. Cooper serves, played up by Garcia to Murillo. Kendall's gonna push that one back over. They're gonna play it up again into the block of Baker and Watley. London just pushes that one back over. Murillo plays it on the uh, near side here with a long hit from West Plains Point. Herford 15-10 now, up by five. Coach Cornelius wants a timeout. And we'll, uh, we'll keep it here on this one. The Lady Whiteface is going on a, uh, a three-point run recently, but uh, at a time we're tied 9-9, 15-10 now here in the third set. Up by two so far, Nikaila Watley, 10 kills on the evening. Cameron Blair with eight, Kendall with seven. Autumn Wilburn, four, London Baker, two. Uh, the Lady Whiteface is really making it a team effort this evening. Uh, points more times than not coming off, uh, just kind of misplays from West Plains, not how we want them all to go, but we will take them tonight to keep playing. Uh, the Lady White Faces have uh, uh, certainly sharpened up since the first set, uh, winning just by two, 25-23. They won the last one, 25-12. And again here, lead by five in the third, 15-10. Right now, Watley, Kendall Blair, Baker, going to be at the front, Trevino, Solorzano, and Cooper in the back for Herford, Emma, 
the uh, senior defensive specialist serving for the Lady White Faces. Jump serves from the middle, played up by Franklin for West Plains. Murillo sets to Garcia. And uh, Garcia hits it out. That was a delayed call from the stand judge, but calls it out. Cooper still serving, up by six now, 16-10. Franklin plays it up for West Plains, set to the middle here. And that one's gonna be out. A great effort from Trevino. Just a uh, nice heads up play by the Lady Wolves there, quickly pushing that ball back over on the second touch. And so Lorzano, Trevino and Cooper back for Herford. Stephanie plays it up to Baker, to Watley. And Nikaila's gonna hit that into the block and out for her 11th on the evening, 17-10 now. 17-11, my apologies, Herford up by six. So Lorzano out, Ali Purcella in. And a sophomore, London Baker, back to the line for Herford. Baker sneaks one over. West Plains just plays it back. Kendall to Baker to Watley, Watley's 12th on the evening. London serving for Herford. Sophomore setters had a great year so far. She's going to get an ace. London's first ace on the evening and a great, great serve from London. Has been pretty aggressive with her serves tonight. And that one paid off for Baker. Again, nice top spin. West Plains plays it up, sets to the far side Franklin and that one's going to fall in. Nice play from uh, Jay Lee there, a junior outside hitter for West Plains. And a part of the court had, that has seen many balls fall just in or just out tonight. Zenaida Murillo, junior setter for West Plains, serves. Trevino plays it up, great. First pass by Trevino to Baker to Watley. Unstoppable. Nikaila, her 13th on the evening. Just powerhouse that ball right in the middle of the court. Super fun to watch. That's going to send West Plains to a timeout. And we'll take one with them this time. 20 to 12, your Lady Whitefaces lead by eight here in the third set. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Lady Whiteface volleyball continues on KPAN. Have questions regarding a mortgage loan? First National Bank of Hereford can help you. You will be working with Hereford's only locally owned bank. Applying is easy with our online application for your home purchase, refinance, home equity, or home improvement. First National Bank of Hereford and Friona Banking Center. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender, NMLS number 631622. Well, folks, welcome back to the box. Lane Formby here courtside bringing you the action tonight. Uh, Tom back home with Cindy, feeling a little under the weather. Hope you get to feeling better soon, Cindy. We know they're listening and certainly cheering on the Lady White Faces. Tom, it looks like we'll see you Friday. Lady Whiteface is leading by eight here in the third set, 2012. Five points to get it done and move on. Kendall with the jump serve from the middle. West Plains plays it to Franklin on the far side. Through the block of uh, Priscilla and Baker, and that's going to be a Lady Wolves point, 2013 now. Trailing by seven. We'll send Brooklyn Garcia to the line for West Plains. Cooper. Kendall, who plays that one up, and uh, Miss plays that ball for sure. Uh, Cooper, Kendall, and Watley playing on the uh, back line for Herford. And Garcia's going to serve again, now cutting the lead to six. Garcia serves to Cooper. Cooper with a great pass to Baker there. Baker sets on the near side to Cameron, and Cameron's going to get her ninth. We've got a uh, few guys on the bench here with us that maybe have just never been that up close and personal to an outside hitter like Cameron. Big athletic move on the ball. 21-14, Watley serving. Nikaila played up by Franklin. Set back on this near side. Kendall there to make the play. Baker to Wilburn. Wilburn, the quick set, but West Plains keeps it alive. They're going to play it into the block of Autumn. And we will give Autumn her second on the evening. Her for 22-14. Eight away here from a regional quarterfinal victory. Watley serves to Franklin. Franklin plays it up to the middle, set on the far side to Kitchen. 
And uh, Watley tries to get a play on that ball, but just unable to. Franklin serving for the West Plains Lady Wolves, down by seven. Cameron plays that to Baker. Baker back to Cameron. Cameron put the cheese on it. Her 10th on the night, 23-15. Two away here from another goal ball for Hereford. A trip to the regional tournament awaits second time in as many years. So Lorzano serves for Hereford as Stephanie just floats that one over. Franklin able to play it up. They're just gonna have to get this one back over. Off the tips of Wilburn, back to Baker, to Autumn. <laughs> Autumn with her fifth, the slide. And that's what we wanna see here. 24-15, match point. Lady White faces on their feet, we'll join them. So Lorzano uh, just gets it over. Kitchens plays it up, I better not actually. And uh, Baker's gonna block that one, but out for a Lady Wolves point. 24-16, up by eight now. I'm not sure if uh, UIL has a, a crazy radio rule about getting too into the game, so I'll stay seated. Cecilia Murillo, freshman, serves for West Plains. Played up by Watley. Could be it right here. Baker to Cameron. West Plains keeps it alive. They're going to get it back over. Kitchen, Kendall to London, London to Autumn. Who's going to do it for Hereford? Autumn, six kill. The Lady White faces. The regional quarterfinal champs here in Canyon tonight over West Plains, and they are going to the regional tournament. We'll face Stephenville Friday night in Friendship. I think it's going to be an 8 o'clock game, late evening. If we win there, we play for the uh, regional finals on Saturday afternoon. A happy group of girls and coaches tonight. Uh, some great play from Hereford, and they're uh, about to get that coveted goal ball here at the box. We're gonna send it back for a, a two minute break. We'll be back to wrap up some stats, talk with Coach McCracken in two minutes, right here on KPAN. We are committed to children and dedicated to excellence. Hereford ISD encompasses over 900 square miles. We educate approximately 4,000 students each year and employ approximately 650 employees. Hereford ISD buses over 700 students to and from school each day. We provide 14 bus routes and drive over 1,100 miles per day. We choose to make a difference in the lives of all of our children. Go Herd! They say proper preparation prevents poor performance, and your local Zomatic dealer is here to help you prepare for any irrigation scenario you may encounter. Act now to lock in bonus rebates on fall deliveries and your choice of additional available incentives. The sooner you lock it in, the better your deal will be, so don't delay. Terms and conditions apply. See your local dealer or visit lindsay.com slash fall savings for details. Winget Pump, East Highway 60 in Hereford. Herd athletes work tirelessly on the fundamentals of their particular sport while learning to work in a team concept. It's not much different at Hereford, Texas Federal Credit Union. Our employees have a dedication to serve our members daily with the fundamentals of good business. Being friendly and helping give you peace of mind in knowing that when you need banking assistance, you can get it from our knowledgeable staff. Hereford, Texas Federal Credit Union, member NCUA, working as a team since 1936 with our members. Go Herd! Your business, farm and ranch, or home is unique, and success depends in part on a cost-effective and convenient supply of quality fuel. When you trust your fueling needs to good and fuels, it's one less detail for you to manage. Commercial fuel in bulk in below-ground or above-ground tanks, serving the western panhandle with gasoline, diesel, and propane. Good and fuels in Hereford, 364-3366. Hi folks, welcome back to the box. We are uh, here with a three set win for the Lady Herd over West Plains. Visiting right now with Coach McCracken of the Lady White Faces. Coach, just uh, the emotions you're feeling right, right now. I mean, what an environment to play yeah. in, you know, going, and that's what I told the girls, like just get used to it. Cause from here on out, this is kind of what it's gonna feel like. And you know, friendships similar to this, you know, it's a smaller environment and so it's gonna be loud and and rowdy, and I think, uh, you know, we're ready for that, so. Well, a really uh, good crowd from Hereford on hand tonight, a pretty good crowd from West Plains. It does, um, 
rowdy in these closing environments, and we certainly played uh, that to our advantage. Tonight. Right, right. You know, we we kind of have some some girls that can kind of roll with the punches, and you know, there was a little bit of of trash talk going back and forth, and um, you know, we we handle that well, and we have some that can give it back too. So. <laughs> Uh, Coach, just uh, maybe talk about a turning point in the match tonight. You know, the first set was really close, probably a lot closer than you wanted. Right. 25-23. Uh, uh, the second set, though, once we maybe got around past about that five-point mark, we were kind of neck and neck through there. Lady Whiteface has really started turning it on. Um, it's kind of seemed that Cameron was kind of finding her groove, Nikaila right. as well. Right. You know, I think just settling into, you know, like we said, you know, just this environment. Um, just kind of settling into that and you know I think it took about the first set to do that yeah. <laughs> um, and so you know I'm proud of how we handled that second and third set you know like you said that first set was a little close for comfort but I'm glad we came out with it and even more so uh, coming away from Saturday's game was very quiet mm -hmm. a long road trip for, right, for her right. for fans understandable <laughs> um, and, and and also you know when you're playing for a bid to the regional tournament things get heated up a little bit more right um, Coach, we're facing Stephenville. Yes. Friday uh -huh. night. Yes. It's going to be an eight o'clock match, if um, I understand correctly. I I am honestly I haven't looked at that yet. Okay. Um, I know we're the second match, so okay. I don't know if that's seven or eight. So an evening match at Friendship, and uh, we if we win, we'll play a winner of Randall. I think Randall beat Monahan's. It was actually a pretty close game. Oh, was it? Okay. Um, and Decatur. R yes, Decatur okay. punched their ticket. And so, you know, Randall, we're assuming Randall will win. And so it'll be a really good regional tournament. Well, Coach, uh, congratulations again tonight. Um, a really good performance by the Lady Whitefaces. Uh, not necessarily a lot of errors, maybe a, a couple of uh, moving our feet things right, to, right. Get, yes. to get. Right, <laughs> right, yes. Defensive to errors, we can always work on those. Um, but again, uh, taking home a goal ball, a quick, tri quick trip home. Back to the hardwood tomorrow to practice. Yes. And we'll get ready for Friday. Yes, sir. Sounds well, thanks good. for visiting Thank with us, you. Carly. And uh, again, congratulations to you Thank guys you. tonight. The Lady Whitefaces, your regional quarterfinal champs. They'll go to the semis on Friday and look to play in the finals on Saturday. A three set win over West Plains. They've done it three times this year and have certainly been uh, the better team. Again, uh, Nikaila Watley, 13 kills on the night. Cameron Blair with 10. Kendall Blair had seven. Autumn Wilburn with six. London Baker with two. Uh, London had an ace. Kendall had two aces. Emma Cooper with an ace for the Lady White Faces. For uh, Tom and Cindy and Brenda, wish they were here to enjoy this with us, but know that they were uh, listening and certainly uh, are basking in the celebration tonight. The Lady White Faces again will play Friday in friendship. It's going to be a late game, but another easy trip for the White Face faithful. And until then, I'm Lane Formby. Uh, we thank our Lady White Face playoff sports sponsors. And uh, from the Boxing Canyon, we wish you all a good night.